Hey everyone, we're here uh, making a quick stop at the Salton Sea, uh, a lake that is about 225 feet below sea level here in California. Now it's the largest lake in California and it's kind of interesting, um, but before I get into that, the most interesting thing is probably the dead fish. Um, there's no bottom feeder uh, in this lake and so the dead fish and barnacles that die here end up washing up on shore. So the entire shoreline is basically made up of fish bones uh, and dead barnacles. And the reason why that is, is uh, the Salton Sea is actually a man-made or human-made lake. Uh, it's also known as the Accidental Lake. And the reason why is if you remember back uh, when we were at the Hoover Dam, they talked about how it was used for flood mitigation. Uh, one of the reasons why they were trying to mitigate flooding is back in 1905, uh, the Colorado River uh, burst its banks and flooded the Salton Sink and the Imperial Valley, which is this area here. Uh, the resulting uh, flooding, which occurred over 16 months, resulted in what is now known as the Salton Sea. Uh, I think somewhere around 350,000 acres of land was flooded uh, and again forming the largest lake in California. Uh, over time, it's become more and more saline or salty. And at this point here, uh, the only thing that survives really is algae, uh, barnacles, and tilapia. Uh, and that is the ecosystem in the water. Uh, on top, uh, the Salton Sea is important for its migratory route. Uh, you've got basically hundreds of different bird species that travel through here and use this water uh, on part of their winter migration. Now because the Salton Sea was created through uh, uh, basically an accident, um, flood mitigation now prevents the lake from continually filling. So the Salton Sea is continually getting lower and lower. Uh, as a result, the, the salt level is going up to the point now where the only fish that can survive in here uh, is the tilapia. And then the beach itself, which again is made up of barnacles and fish bones, uh, just gets bigger and bigger. So over time, uh, no one is really sure what will happen to this lake. Uh, but as it stands now, it's an interesting example of uh, a natural ecosystem created from human error.